Hello, we're joining you from Australia and we're pleased to join in the tour around the globe looking at global impact across the global bioimaging community. I'm Lisa Yen and I'm joined by Jenny Whiting from Microscopy Australia and Wojtek Kaczynski from the National Imaging Facility. Microscopy Australia and the National Imaging Facility provides open access to Australia's advanced microscopy and imaging facilities, expertise, tools and analysis. Our instruments and experts are distributed across Australia to address Australia's strategic science and research priorities to benefit industry, keep people healthy and to provide a prosperous economy. We would like to acknowledge and respect the fact that we're joining you today from the lands of the Aboriginal people. And we'd like to provide three impact stories today from the Australia and Asia Pacific region. I'll go first and then I'll hand over to Wojtek and then to Jenny to each talk us through one story. The three stories that we've picked are one on food security, looking at improving the productivity of rice, one looking at engaging with First Nations Australians to underpin better health outcomes, and also looking at the Stories and Structures New Connections exhibition to encourage reconciliation and equality. And so we've picked up the UN Sustainable Development Goals that are applicable to these stories, and we'll talk about each of them as we go through. So the first one I'll be telling you about is about future food security, and this relates to Sustainable Development Goal 2 about zero hunger. In our world, rice feeds about 3 billion people, but we have an increasing um, global population, and our productivity of rice has reached a kind of natural limit. So how the challenge is, how can we achieve greater productivity to ensure that food is available for our increasing population? So the research that's been done through our facilities is that C3 plants like rice are not as efficient in their photosynthesis processes as C4 plants. And the TEM work that was done showed that there are um, these bundle sheath cells that in a C4 plant retain um, the gas, the, the carbon dioxide gas, and so it can't escape. And what we've got is two images here, one looking at the normal C4 mullet, uh, millet, where you can see um, the yellow line or that seal that um, is, is unbroken in the mutant C4 millet. And so because they don't then uh, create that um, barrier layer, they're not as efficient. So using Microscopy Australia's transmission electron microscopes, researchers at the Australian National University as part of the International C4 Rice Project could see how this essential lipid forms this barrier layer. And this has a number of predicted outcomes because if we can bioengineer a more efficient rice with C4 properties, this could increase the photosynthetic productivity by around 50% and increase or, or, or provide more efficient irrigation um, and reduce our reliance on fertilizers. And this improved productivity rate would bring the world towards matching those projected population, the projected population growth to ensure food security and move us towards global zero hunger which is sustainable development too. Thank, thank you, Lisa. So I'd like to talk to you about our work helping improve healthcare for First Nations Australians, which is a complex issue. A history of colonialization, racism and discrimination, along with loss of identity, language, culture and land has had big impact on Aboriginal health. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people experience 2.3 times the burden of disease compared to non-Indigenous Australians, higher rates of psychological distress and chronic disease, and access to health services is reduced for various reasons, including cost and lack of accessible or culturally appropriate services. In addition to these factors, people living in rural and remote areas also face difficulties accessing healthcare especially specialist services, due to distance. 
National Imaging Facility is working with remote and vulnerable populations to address health priorities, drive engagement, and ultimately mitigate bias introduced through metropolitan patient sampling. These efforts respond to SDG 3 and 10. NIFS University of New South Wales node at Neuroscience Research Australia is undertaking the first study to investigate neuroimaging and cognitive impairment in older Aboriginal Australians to inform dementia prevention, diagnosis and policy. Neura is engaging the Australian Aboriginal community to investigate structural and pathological brain changes that underlie the high rates of dementia and cognitive decline in older Aboriginal Australians. At University of Newcastle, we're building engagement with First Nations communities to apply imaging to investigate Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander health priorities, including deafness, renal disease, and neurodegenerative disorders. Finally, NIF is deploying four low field MR scanners to remote and regional sites to help researchers apply this affordable imaging technology in regional areas. These scanners will be used to diagnose stroke, traumatic brain injury, and other conditions after testing in research laboratories at NIF nodes. Over to you, Jenny. Thank you, Wojtek. I want to talk about um, an exhibition that I've curated, really that responds to those inequalities that Wojtek just highlighted. The Stories and Structures exhibition brings together um, microscopic images and highlights the rich visual para, um, the rich visual similarities between these micrographs and work done by artists. Um, Lisa, so the images are of plants and animals, rocks and minerals from the Australian environment. These were responded to by Indigenous artists to put together this touring exhibition that really demonstrates the intimate connections that our First Nations people have with their country. It's a way that we can facilitate a better understanding and appreciation of these ancient cultures by non-Indigenous Australians and to encourage Indigenous children to feel less alienated by Western science education, thus helping to reduce educational and social inequalities. This is addressing obviously quality education, SDG 4 and SDG 10, reduced inequalities. I now just want to show you a few of these pairings of TEM images and artworks. On the left, you'll see a TEM image of a section through a fish eye and blood flow. And on the right, an image by Aboriginal artist Curran Warren of a dry riverbed but with the hidden water below the surface, which is the lifeblood of uh, their culture. This one here is an image of ribosomes on the left, which obviously are the machines that create the protein, which is the building blocks of all living um, creatures. And on the right, a painting by a Walpuri artist of brush tail possum dreaming which is a really powerful and important story in their culture. Um, so there's a, obviously a very rich visual connection there. And the last one that I want to show you has collagen fibrils on, in skin on the left, and then a painting by artist Joshua Bonson of crocodile skin, which is his totem. And it also is symbolic of the kinship system and that protective um, image of skin and that concept of bringing, of protecting the whole community. So that's just a little snippet of that exhibition that made use of microscopic images in ways that you don't necessarily expect um, and yet provides a really um, rich social engagement tool. And that just brings us to this point where between Microscopy Australia and the National Imaging Facility, the research and the projects that we um, support and develop support all of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. And we find that 
this organizational structure of the sustainable development goals is a really great organizing tool to really coordinate and highlight the diversity of the research that we enable into a structure that's readily communicatable to our stakeholders. So thanks, I hope you've enjoyed our little uh, showcase tour around some of the impact stories that um, we wanted to share with you from Microscopy Australia and the National Imaging um, Facility. We do think that our facilities really are impactful and are making a difference. Um, and we hope that uh, we look forward to hearing your stories as well as you share your impact stories um, through our exchange of experience gathering. Thanks, bye.